Hello, my name is Eric Miller. Today I'm going to talk to you about the oiling system in a 250cc poop motorcycle. Um, it's kind of unusual to two-stroke motorcycles, and I'm going to explain to you why this motorcycle must be run uh, on with the oiling system, and you cannot run it on premix alone. Okay, we've got both halves of the uh, crankcase here pulled apart. We got the crank in the middle. The crank is oriented correctly to the engine case. This is the front of the case, left side, right side of the motorcycle. Now we're gonna talk about the, uh, this will be where your oil line comes in, right here on the bottom. Hooks in here, runs through the casting, through a copper line right here to this point, where it gets to the variable displacement oil pump. Oil pump sits in here like that. It's driven by a worm gear coming off the crank and it's a variable displacement type pump. There's a control cable that hooks up here and also ties in with the throttle. So as you add more throttle, you get more oil. Now this gear is lubricated by the oil in the primary drive. Your two-stroke oil does not mix with the primary oil. Now you see this tube right here runs to the inside of the left-hand case right here. And then we're gonna look at the left-hand side of the crank here. And this tube lines up with this hole right here, and oil is injected directly into the large end be bearing of the connecting rod. Also, when it's not lined up with this, the oil will get on the outside of the crank, and the centrifugal force will swing it out, sort of a oil bath system. Now, the crank in here turns uh, this direction, and the oil slung off the crank will get into this trough right here. And this trough is mirrored on the left hand side of the crankcase and you'll notice there's a small the copper tube down here that allows the oil that's caught in this trough to run down to the right hand bearing. Now you often also notice in both of these crankcases there's another collection point for oil. So some of this oil is slung up onto the bottom of the pistons will run down the bottom or down the bottom to the uh, or down, bottom of the cylinders down the side of the crankcase and be collected in here and also oil the main bearings. Now the oil that runs off the that's slung off the crank by centrifugal force, not all of that runs back down the cases to the main bearings. Some of this is going up and is collected by the piston. So you'll notice this piston right here has these grooves, and these grooves are designed to help lift the oil up to the combustion chamber and the rings. And also a little bit of oil runs back down in this hole right here onto the piston pin. And you also have whole oiling holes in the bottom of the connecting rods right here to allow the oil to the piston pin. And you have some more holes in the top that allow oil to get to the piston pin. Now one of the next big questions is what type of oil do I run? So personally, I like to run TCW3 two-stroke oil. It's designed to be oil injected boat motors. It works very well. Uh, a lot of your modern two-stroke oils work very well in these. Um, originally, the motorcycle uh, manufacturer specified 50 weight non-detergent oil. And while this will still work just fine, uh, it doesn't burn very well and tends to be very smoky and make a big mess of the exhaust system. Whereas a modern two-stroke oil, uh, you can run much uh, leaner mix and you get much less smoke and much less buildup in your exhaust ports and your exhaust system. Thank you for watching my video.